Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shine and shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice, with fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage, and enter the presence of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God. Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you, from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters, your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me, saying to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father in heaven, when your strength takes possession of us, we no longer say, Why are you cast down, my soul? So now that the surging waves of indignation have passed over us, let us feel the healing calm of your forgiveness. Inspire us to yearn for you always, like the deer for running streams, until you satisfy every longing in heaven. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy Come to our aid, O God of the universe, and put all the nations in dread of you. Raise your hand against the heathen, that they may realize your power. As you have used us to show them your holiness, so now use them to show us your glory. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you. Give new signs and work new wonders. Show forth the splendor of your right hand and arm. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, show us the radiance of your mercy. 
The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun. To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The vaults of heaven ring with your praise, O Lord. A reading from Exodus chapter 19. You have seen for yourselves how I bore you up on eagle wings and brought you here to myself. Therefore, if you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possession, dearer to me than all other people, though all the earth is mine. You shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words, and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. Be compassionate and forgiving as your Father is, says the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be compassionate and forgiving as your Father is, says the Lord. Blessed be God the Father for his gift of this sacrifice of praise. In the spirit of this Lenten season, let us pray, instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. God of power and mercy, give us the spirit of prayer and repentance with burning love for you and for all mankind. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. Help us to work with you in making all things new in Christ and in spreading justice and peace throughout the world. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. Teach us the meaning and value of creation so that we may join its voice to, to ours as we sing your praise. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. Forgive us for failing to see Christ in the poor, the distressed, and the troublesome, and for our failure to reverence your Son in their persons. Instruct us, Lord, in the ways of your kingdom. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O oh God, you taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls. Enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.